In this movie I will explain you how you can create your group address. And your group addresses is a kind of structure and I give you this example because in uh, ETS5 there is um, I'll show you here it's an interesting new project assistant and this guides you uh, through making a good project, new project and I start by making, creating one line and next I'm also uh, creating my building structure so this has some nice suggestions and just have a look afterwards about it and I have the floor, I have um, different uh, departments of my building and when I finish I see my new project with all my uh, chosen building structure so it's a lot but it's nice to see but the most important thing for me is that you can also see the group addresses and ETS gives you an example a suggestion for making these group addresses and I start by analyzing this so you have as main group you have three levels this is three level group addresses and the main group is in blue middle group is in green and the subgroup is in red and the logical way to think about it is that the main group can be <coughs> a function in general for example main group 1 is light all all things all lightnings all all lighting uh, has to um, has to be pushed in this uh, group address then next you have the sun protection sun protection all about um, shutters sun protection is grouped in this group address too then the third one is the heating the cooling and then I can say that um, you have for example also a main group with all kind of function of heating and cooling and then I have a look to the middle group and the middle group is what can I do which kind of function can I do have with this um, this light so the main light uh, the main group is light and I have a middle group a middle group explains you for example I can switch the light I can dim the light I can send a value I can read the status for example um, for a LED in the, in the light or in the push button doesn't matter but these are the middle group the functions all things I can do with lights then I have the sun protection and the, the uh, sun protection can do very important things with uh, the thing I can do with the sun protection is the movement and the step stop this means that for example a shutter I can move it up and down and I can also um, when it's moving down for example stop and then change uh, the direction and for example then it's again going up so these two important middle groups are also used for uh, shutters or sun protection in general so you can see that the middle group or kind of function functions that I can do with all those sun protection great and then I start again with the first example I have light and then I see that the subgroup is a switch light central this means that uh, this subgroup um, it's about a light so this light can be uh, switched on or off by a central function but it can the same light can also be switched on or off by a push button or it can be dimming up or dimming down by another push button it doesn't matter so I see here for example um, just take an example I have here the living room ceiling light switching so this means that in the living room there is a ceiling light and I can switch it on or off in this group address structure but for example the same light can also be dimmed and then I have to check there's also here a group address one two zero living room ceiling light it's the same light but it can also be dimmed dimming up or down so you have to see also the structure the subgroup itself it consists exists of three um, three numbers so I have for example here uh, one slash one slash zero the first one is about the main group this is the main group light 
the second one is it's about switching one slash one and on the last one zero is about it's about the ceiling light in the living room so that's a, a group structure I can uh, use in ETS 5 a value I can also for example read or send the value to the living room ceiling light value so for example I want the ceiling room, room to be set on 80% so then I use this subgroup it's all about the same ceiling light same ceiling light and also same ceiling light so what's the difference I will use other objects of the um, components of the actor to uh, switch on or off or to dim the ceiling light and then also the status the feedback maybe I can have if I want to and I can also program the status of the ceiling room light this can be uh, given the feedback for example in a let in a push button or for example I just I only want to know the feedback the status is uh, the light really turned on or off or on how, how many percent uh, has the light been dimmed and then again I can also check the sun protection so the main group is sun protection and subgroup is I can move I can step stop and it's about again the same uh, shutter or, or sun protection I have here the living room window 1 this is the shutter in the living room window 1 but the same shutter I can move it up and down but I can also stop it the living room window 1 and for example change the direction and when it's going down it can um, go up for example so I see that the subgroup it's about the same window but with an other function and that's how the structure, this, these structures here in group address are used. I have also the heating and the cooling. And I can uh, I'll talk about it in the same way. I can have a set point, actual point, room, control, and so on. Just keep in mind this is one uh, kind of group address structure. There are many. And this, this is the three level group address structure. So you can choose also, you have also the two or the three. Uh, the free level um, group address structure but I use uh, a lot three and um, and this kind of uh, structure so when I have for example a new uh, domotic house and a topology and a group address and I want to start I can add a main group and I have a subgroup for example switching and then finally group as for example the light living room is an easy one just to show you how I can make the structure the group addresses in ETS 5 of course here there has to be some objects to be linked I have an example here for example this is the light switching light switching and this is on the on the front door and I have two objects here who are linked to each other with the group address the group address is a kind of a virtual link between two components two KNX devices who are be linked to each other via their objects in a subgroup so a subgroup address means it's a kind of a virtual cable, virtual link to between two devices or more, it can also be more uh, for example here's central functions and this is turn off everything to turn off everything so I have here a push button who turns off all those components so all those components will listen to the signal of this push button so this is used in one group address